Rachel, colour of noise today. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm very well, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. We're, we're kind of blustery Wolverhampton. It is blustery, yes. Um, it was blustery in Wales as well. Because so. you've just played Planet Rockstock? Planet Rockstock in uh, Treco Bay, yeah. It was awesome, yeah. It was a great night. And then we had a night off, so we had a bit of fun. Uh, you were still on camp for that fun? Yeah. Stuck in Wales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had a caravan. No. And, uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean... Was it, was I, it one of those... I could live in one of those. Pull down, pull down the dining room table for the extra bed? And uh, a bit better than that, better actually. Than that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I could, what I sort of brand is it when it's not a rock sh show? What sort of brand camp is it? Is it just like a privately run camp? I do believe it is a. It's not Brompton, is it? No, it's it's but it's one of those kind of. Yeah. It's one of those things, but I, I, you know. Best caravan park, Treco Bay, two thousand and nine, sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It yeah. was good. It was good. It's good. Just full of rock and roll people, you know. Because that's that's become a little bit of a little bit of a thing, isn't it, in the UK now? We've yeah, got we've got Hard Rock Hell, and yes. we've got a few of those. Yeah. Uh, Platinum Rock Stock. Um, you know, doing the holiday parks. Yeah, we did Hard Rock Hell um, recently. Uh, that was only like a, about a month ago or so. Yeah. Um, that was great fun. Yeah. yeah, loving it. Yeah, good turnout, good response, warm, brilliant. Weird, isn't it, being on those stages with the mezzanine sort of like two inches above your head and things like that? <laughs> yeah, on the stage two, um, they're, they're, they're a little more cosy. Yeah. Um, but that's good. That's good sometimes, you know, especially if, if the people are up for it and it's, yeah. and it's all happening. Get everyone in and so you're on uh, support tour with Dead Daisies. We it's are. Nice, yeah, it's a good yes, match. it's a great. Yeah, it's great. And uh, watched them last night and real showman. You know, uh, I'm looking. Oh, they've been around the block, haven't they? Yeah, haven't I'm they? looking forward to yeah. watching them again tonight and, and looking forward to playing. You know, um, yeah, it's going to be cool. The good thing about Colour and Noise is to, it's a really enjoyable gig. Yeah. yeah. And of course, the biggest news is that your album came out yesterday. It sure did. Yeah. Congratulations. Beautiful copies came out. People are starting to get them through the post. Um, yeah. It's the first master. Um, we, we've done a we've done a, a couple of masters, um, and yeah, we're loving it. We're loving it. Did a video, yeah. um, dropped that a couple of days ago as well. Uh, yeah, it's all it's all the baby's gone. You know, yeah. it's like ooh. there's a bit again. One of these things of the modern era is that you get a soft launch and then you get another soft launch and then you get a proper launch and then visible hard copies come in and then probably the vinyl comes out a bit later. Yeah, the vinyls, the, yeah, we've yeah. had the test copies um, yeah. come through already and so they're going to be going out. Uh, absolutely love the artwork. Um, that's, been, that's been great, you know, um, to open that physical copy and, and, and see. Yeah, really cool, you know. I, 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 I never get over that bit, you know. When you get it in your hand, and go, oh, yeah. this is great. Then I put it on, listen to it once, and then listen to it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you uh, an audiophile? Do you prefer your vinyl or your CDs or your downloads or what? Uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, I, I, I like a CD. CDs sound great. I do think records sound great as well. Um, I'm not too, too fussy. I mean, I've got man, many friends that have got into the vinyl thing, and it's a real, real big deal again, isn't it? Um, and I've also got friends that absolutely hate it, you know, so uh, um, they're normally the older ones, though. Uh, the older ones that hate it? Yeah, yeah, I've got oh, some friends, so some, um, okay. older friends that are just like, I can't stand vinyl. Yeah, um, we grew up with it. Maybe. Yeah. And we maybe. Re remember how inconvenient it was to get yeah. off the bed, <laughs> flip the album over for the second side. But it's so funny, because, I, I mean, my first memories of music was all about vinyl, you know, going downstairs, sure. putting Dad's records on, yeah. and it was... Yeah, all, all about the vinyl. Did, you, did he used to have one of those where you could stack them all up on the spindle beforehand and then just play Yeah, yeah, it did, ha it did have that, yeah. CDs don't do that, do they? No, I, th I, th I, think, I think my mum has uh, still yeah. got that. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, there, there it was, Led Zeppelin 1 and Pet Sounds. They were stacked up, you know, Moody Blues or whatever was going on at the time. <laughs> Awesome. I used to, I, I was one of the, uh, not the rich kids by any means, but uh, one of the kids who got first where the stylist would go underneath the album and play the B-side without you having to get up. It was like the whole, and the wow. stylist would go along, a little motor, uh, motorised one, didn't just follow the grooves, and then would you come off and then play upwards. Wow, I never saw those ones. No? No. Oh, you haven't lived? No, we were probably even poorer. <laughs> I must have been at the jumble sale or something at the time. You know. Yeah, deepest, for darkest, real, real. Ipswich, probably. I don't, uh, don't, don't, don't mind jumble. Yeah. Don't mind jumble. Yeah, yeah. We can do jumble. Other sales are available. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Cool. So, um, as I say, the, the pledge campaign went well then. 
um, and it gave you enough money to um, get the get the album off the off the ground. And I remember talking to yeah. uh, Bruce about it, and he was saying that you know you were going to fund the album even if the pledge didn't quite hit target and things like that. So yeah, yeah. I mean, we were doing it anyway, and it was just it was a it was what a case of how are we going to do this? What we're going to do? Uh, went and had a meeting with the pledge guys, and it was perfect. You know, and it's and it's it it ran to schedule. Everything went well. Yeah. Um, and job done. You have a little schedule of vox pops that you need to do. Talking to camera. Hi, this uh, is me. Our album's coming out soon. We can't wait for you to hear it. There was there was a lot of that. Yeah, we had to we had to do a lot of that. But but again, these days as well, that's super easy. You know, get your phone out and it's like here we are at rehearsal. Da 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 da. Um, yeah, it was great. And Bruce is really good at that. You know, uh, he's been he's been great. He's really put it. It's well, it's it's, it's his baby, but it's now sort of become. It's now becoming everyone's baby. And yeah, and he's it, very yeah. keen on it becoming a band and oh, everybody yeah, being involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's super he's super happy. You know, um, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're just it, happy. It, it is, happy. yeah. No, I am. Yeah, smiling. yeah. No, I am. I'm I'm quite happy with it. You know, and like I said, I love the I'm loving the live side of this band yeah. um, so much because it's just. I get to wig out and woo, just rock out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that, there's some, there's you know, there's a, some mellow moments within there. It's not, yeah, it's not the uh, the other band. Is that still going? Furin, yeah, yeah, Furin. It's just you know, one one thing comes up when yeah. one thing's busy and the other things, you know, yeah. doing other things. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, with Furion, are you? Do you have a schedule for that? What's happening with those guys? Uh, no schedule at the moment. Uh, everything's a little bit. Color of noise, touring, getting out there. I'm yeah. sure that that will be doing something at some point next year as well. Yeah, you know, that's got to be a nice position to be in, isn't it? Yeah, different flavors, it different it bands. Different yes, feel. it is. Yeah, it is. It's quite nice. It's to yeah. to, do, to do that and um, uh, have everything in in, it, in its place. I mean, because you know, Furin's not a, a majorly uh, big band, no. um, so it it doesn't have like schedules that have to be done you know yeah. like it can be moved around a little you know so yeah. we'll see cool so you're on this sh uh, short tour with dead daisies and uh up and down the country which yeah. is cool and you're sort of like a, a super group not a what, super group what the dead They're, daisies is dead daisies or a super group color of noise well you, you, <laughs> you know you know you had those that band list don't you no <laughs> you had that band list and it says who's in the band yep. uh, in brackets little angels yep. very young yeah some other ones I can't quite remember, Absolutely. but you know, you've, you've been in other 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 establishments, haven't you? So it's nice to bring all that together and uh, become a whole. Absolutely, um, and uh, again, seeing these guys, you were talking about like that collaboration band thing. Mm. I really saw it last night. You know, where it was like, whoa, you know, okay, you know, these guys seem super comfortable. You know, that's uh, it was a, it was a big deal. The drummer, the drummer's great. The drummer's great to watch. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's like totally so um, Rich Titchy, Titchy, whatever. Yeah, John Carroll, he's John. great. Um, the guitar player, great, you know. Um, yeah, I like the way that they said, oh, yeah, and Dizzy Reed playing the piano. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Oh, Dizzy Reed playing the piano. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward it's to it. It's up to me on stage and all that sort of business. Yeah, a little bit like that. Yeah. 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 I'm getting the Sherry's set up and yeah. hear him sound I, I quite like the super group thing, you know. Yeah. Um, and like the winery dogs, you know, I, that's another one, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. Uh, love that. You're always wonder, wondering whether they're just a project or whether they actually become a band. And, and both Dead Daisies and Winery Dogs have shown that they actually want to be um, some around and produce album after album and things like that. I think they're enjoying it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're obviously enjoying it. Um, and, that, and that's why, uh, you know, I guess that's what you do. You know. if, yeah. if it works, it works. And what's, what's it like being on stage with Bruce Stingson beside you then? He's a bit, of a, bit of a legend, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, when I first met, when I first clapped eyes on Bruce, I was uh, a teenager of watching him support Bon Jovi at Milton Keynes. So, I, um, and a fan of the Little Angels as a 13 year old or something. You know what I mean? I, I totally loved it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, ov obviously, as time go you know, goes on, you know, you know, I got to know Bruce from living in, this, in the same area and mm -hmm. uh, catching up at Download, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. Um, it's great. I mean, we're, we're mates now, so it's it's you know <laughs> yeah, it's a different it's, it's yeah. a different scenario. But he's a great guitar player, and he's um, he's a lovely human being, you know. So 
Like yeah, helping it's cool. it. Yeah, okay. it's cool. I'm, I feel really, it's really great. And Tell us a little bit about the concept uh, or the concepts or the feeling behind the artwork of the album because that's like off the wall. It's the um, spooky skulls with the glasses and the psychedelic background. Yeah. Yeah, it's abs- I mean, I, I, th- I mean, it's slightly, con- noise, I sort of yeah, it's, yeah, it's slightly controversial, I suppose, yeah. but it's, uh, it's totally psychedelic. It's got yeah. that almost Beatles esque feel about it. Um, yeah, we think it's, we think it's great. And, and like I said, as soon as I got the actual copy in my hands, yeah. I was just like, that is amazing. I can't wait to see the vinyl. You know, yeah. um, you just, you just doing it as a city kind of gate gatefold nowadays. Can you? It's too much production cost. Gatefold, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. No, no, it's, no gonna, yeah, it's gonna be, st- stuff. it's gonna be, yeah, oh. standard. You know, no lyrics or anything like It'll that. Just go in the frame on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we won't actually yeah. take the vinyl yeah. out. No, we'll yeah. keep that. Just keep it behind us. Awesome, lovely talking to you, then, Matt. Great to Look talk to you. Look forward to yeah, seeing yeah, you tonight. Enjoy the rest of the tour. Cheers. And uh, hopefully this one will come out properly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Happy man. Christmas. Yeah. And you. Yes. And a good New Year. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.